When the concept of lump sum payment was first introduced in 1954 by deputy governor Ogden, most conservative members of the legislature initially supported the lump sum payment. They thought landowners would be happy to receive 16 and a half years of land rentals in advance. Chief Ex Executive Higa and representative of Military, Military Landowner Association went to Washington, D.C. earlier to submit a petition to the U.S. Congress denouncing the lump sum payment and requesting no more land acquisition. acquisition. To go counter to this unified position of the general public was considered unwise and suicidal. Mayor Higa came to my office at 7 the next morning. He said he was willing to accept my suggestion to invite U.S. military to Kushison to establish a military base. The truth was that I simply read his mind and spelled out for him what he wanted today. Be that as, as it may, he wanted to know specifically what he should do. After finding out that hundreds and hundreds of acres of agriculturally, agriculturally non-productive public land were available, I asked him to submit to me a formal letter of invitation addressed to the governor of the Ryukyu Islands for the military for the for the US military to establish a base in Kushiso, a map showing the area to be released and an endorsement signed by the mayor and the entire municipal assembly. I cautioned him to handle this matter absolutely secret. He left my office saying he would see me in a week. Showing a big smile in the full flash of expectation, Mayor came to my office exactly one week later with the promised documents. A letter of request inviting US military to establish a base in Kushiso and addressed to General Lemony Tsa, governor of the Ryukyu Islands, was signed by Mayor Keiko Higa and endorsed by the entire assemblymen. An accompanying map areas of possible interest to US forces. After a careful translation of the documents, I turned them over to the civil administrator. The army turned it down immediately. This was before the Vietnam War and the army did not have an expansion plan. The Air Force was reasonably satisfied with the facilities at Kanina Air Base and refused to accept the proposal. The Navy had maintained an air facility at Naha Air Base and did not need supporting facilities at all. As a matter of fact, it has just agreed to relinquish its control over Yonabaru airfield. The Marines in the process of bringing the full complement of the 3rd Marine Division to Okinawa had felt that the only training facility at Camp Hansen in Kingston, later Kincho, was not adequate enough to accommodate all the training needs. It was not necessary to ask them do you need an additional training area. They immediately requested the district engineer to come up with a relocation. The Marine headquarters in Hawaii notified General Lemnitsa a month, a month later through channels, definitely yes, thus making Mayor Higa the happiest man in Okinawa. Now fully developed into one of the finest marine training centers in the world, this site is known today as Camp Schwab, a bastion for the defense of freedom. This was the first case in the history of land acquisition in Okinawa, 
where the initiative was not taken by US forces.